Hey friends, in this video, I will show you how we can remove the group membership of any disabled accounts in your Active Directory infrastructure. This is very beneficial for Active Directory cleanup as well as also the person who is working in identity management team and he just want to remove the membership of any disabled account. Uh, so there are the two way. One is that either you will go on the Active Directory users and computer snap in or you can remove it through the command or PowerShell script. So I will show you in both way how we can remove the group membership of any disabled accounts. And uh, dsa.msc is a command that you can use to open the Active Directory users and computers snap in. Here I can see there are the two users are showing inside the cells OU and uh, these all users having some group membership like uh, cells rw and domain users so domain users is the built-in group membership you cannot remove it uh, um, for any user accounts which is created on active directory but you can remove it like cells rw and other built-in group membership like administrators uh, print operators account operators and other custom group which you have created and assigned the membership of uh, for any users uh, so there are the way like just you will go on the user properties and you will select the groups and you remove it but think about that if you have multiple users and multiple group memberships so you need to go on each and in each individual users group uh, users and you will remove it from the membership properties tab only and now i will show you there is the way which you can use and which you can follow to disable to remove the group membership from the powershell so this is the powershell command uh, what i will do i will just open it or i will edit it and uh, i will just copy this powershell script so you need to run this powershell script as a administrator so i'm just copying this and i will open the powershell with run as administrator command this is my PowerShell script and run as administrator. Here I will just paste this PowerShell script and I will just explain the detail in the details. So this is the import task module Active Directory. This is a uh, Active Directory module command. You are just ex uh, importing the Active Directory. Now I just created a variable that is users and uh, we are just collecting the domain informations we are just uh, specifying this that to search the users from this base dn this is the base dn of my active directory so when you are executing this powershell script so you need to change your base domain uh, as what you have configured in your infrastructure so this is the base domain you will just go on the domain and uh, need to enable the advanced feature now you will go on the properties and here you can search your base dn and this is my distinguished name i just copied this and uh, i just edited dc equal to info alias and dc equal to local so i just divided into two part and uh, now I'm just using a for each loop and in, in this uh, for each loop I'm just calling a user variable again and uh, putting the value of uh, users in uh, users now I just created a uh, uh, if else like uh, if user dot enabled suppose this condition if this condition is matching so this is my user accounts here this is disabled so if condition is like disabled I mean uh, if enable equal to false false means if account is disabled if I will making it true so it will be it will search only uh, enabled account but I just make it uh, make it clear that user dot enabled and equal to false so I'm just putting here false now I call uh, created a new variable that is groups and uh, putting the value user dot member of so it will just search the member of of the user now again for each loop will be called and it will remove the group membership from this command uh, remove dash ad group member and member uh, and user confirm false so uh, 
confirm equal to false means that if we are just removing the group membership so it will not ask for the confirmation yes or no uh, it will just remove it but if you are just making it true so it will ask to uh, ask before removing the group membership of each and every users uh, or every group membership so I always recommend you to just go through and check that uh, if you are creating the uh, script so you may you should make it false so it will remove the group membership over here now I will just execute this PowerShell and I will go the Active Directory group membership of these all users now I will see so only member domain users is there earlier we checked that so cells were there in the group membership here also I will check this you can see only domain users are visible over here similarly I will go on the built-in group membership earlier uh, one of the account which was disabled that was also added inside the administrator group uh, group uh, which is built in so this is the way which you can follow to remove the group membership uh, from uh, uh, with the from powershell and uh, you should be careful when you are just uh, using the powershell so you should be aware about that where you are making false true and all because uh, your a single mistake can uh, remove the group membership of your all active directory groups and it will be difficult to search those all group membership uh, from your active directory so this is the way which you need to just follow to removing the group membership. Thank you for watching this video.